Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our new grammar lesson, which is the present simple tense. So, what is the simple present? It is used to talk about things or daily habits or activities that are usually done every day and they are always true. Okay? So, what is the present simple used for? The present simple is used for facts or things that are always true or generally true. For example, whales live in the ocean. It's a fact. All of you know that whales live in the ocean. The second example, a dog has four legs. You didn't see before that we have a dog with two legs or three legs, right? So, the dog has four legs. It's a fact and it's true. Also, you know that it rains a lot in winter, right? So, it's a fact and it's true. Here we have in the fourth example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Also, the present simple tense is used for regular habits or repeated actions when the actions are repeated many times, so we use the present simple tense. For example, I brush my teeth three times a day. So here the action is brush, right? So I will put it in the present simple tense. So here I repeat the action three times a day. The second example, I read in bed every night. So, every day at night, I repeat the same action. The third example, she goes to the gym after work, means every time after work, she goes to the gym, so it's a repeated action. The fourth and the last one, he walks to school every day, means every day he repeats the same action action which is he walks to school and now let's see our helpers or our keywords when i see these time expressions i put my verb in the present simple tense so what are my time expressions or what are my keywords on sundays or on mondays in the morning in the afternoon in the evening at noon at night at the weekend Always, usually, often, sometimes, every day, every week, every month, okay, or every year. So, when I see these time expressions, I put my verb in the present simple tense. So, how can I put my verb in the present simple when I see these time expressions? Okay. I will put S to the verb. I will put S to the main verb. I will catch the main verb and put S to it. Any main verb? No. Of course, I have to see the pronoun. If the pronoun likes the S, so I will put S. If the pronoun hates S, I will cross it or I will keep it empty. I will keep it as it is. I will not add anything. For example, I have I, you, we, they. They hate us. Okay, they don't like us. For example, I speak or learn English at home. So the verb here is empty. The second one, you speak English at home or you learn English at home. We speak English. I cannot say we speaks. Okay? The second example. He speaks English at home. So here you can see the verb with S. Because he, she, it, like us. She learns English at home. Or it learns English at home. Or it speaks English at home. Okay? And now... Let's see another example, live. So here with I, 
I live. I cannot say I lives because I hate us. I live. You live. He live or lives. Lives. Excellent. Because he likes us. She lives. It lives. And we live. You live. They live or lives. Excellent. Live. I have two problems. The first one, if the verb ends with SS, SH, CH, X or O, I will put E before adding S. Okay, the first example, I miss. Of course, there is no S here because I hate S. He misses. When I put he, so I have to add S, right? But here I cannot add S only. I have to put ES because the, my verb ends with SS. Excellent. The second example. I finish. My verb here ends with SH. So it will be he finishes. I must add ES. The third one. I watch. When I have he. So I will say he watches. I mix. So it will be he mixes. I will add ES because I have X at the end of the verb. I go, go ends with O, so I have to put ES when I have HE. HE goes. The second problem here when I have a consonant and Y. My verb ends with Y and before the Y there is a consonant. There is no vowel. I study. But if I have he, she, or it, I must add s. Can I put s? No, of course. I will cross y and put i, e, s. Okay? In the second example, I cry. Can you see the y at the end of the verb? Yes. Before the y, there is a consonant which is r. So I will cross the y and put I E S to be, to be he cries. He cries. Okay, but if I have a vowel before my Y, okay, so I will keep it as it is. I will not cross the Y if I have a vowel. A E I O U. If you see A E I O U before Y, so you keep the Y as it is and just add S only. Okay? So before crossing the Y, you have to see the letter before it. If it's a consonant, I will cross the Y. If it's a vowel, so I will keep the Y. This was our first part in present simple lesson. Now let's move to the second part, which is the negative form. In our negative form, we must use not. But here we will use do not, which is don't, and does not, which is doesn't. And you know that I, you, we, and they hate us. So I will put don't or doesn't. Of course don't. Excellent. But for he, she, it, they like us. So I will put doesn't. Okay. Where can I put don't and doesn't before the main verb? I have to put don't or doesn't before the main verb. So I will catch the main verb and put don't and doesn't. Okay? For example, I don't live. I don't live. So here the main verb is live and I have to put don't before it because I have I. Because I have I and I hate us. Okay, also the second one, you don't live. Here the main verb is live, so I put don't before live and you hate s, so I put don't. Here, he doesn't live. Uh oh, there is no s in live. Why? Because doesn't eat the s in the verb. So we cannot put s with doesn't to the verb. So here I have the main verb live. I put doesn't before it because I have he and he likes us. Okay. The third one, she doesn't live and it doesn't live. The same. Okay. We don't live. We hate us.
So I put don't before the verb. You don't live. They don't live. And now let's move to the third part of our lesson, which is the interrogative form. Interrogative means yes or no question. In this case, we have to put do or does. Okay, but we have to start our question with them. So we have do, does, then we have to put the subject and then the verb in the infinitive. Okay, we don't put as to the verb. So, here I have the first example. Do you like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? What's your answer? If yes, I will say yes, I do. I cannot say yes, you do. Right? Yes, I do. But if I have no, I will say no, I don't. Can I say no, I do? Of course not. No, I don't. The second one. Does he live in London? Hmm... So here, I will say yes, yes. Can I say yes, does he? Or yes, he does. Yes, he does, exactly. And the second one, if I will answer with no, I will say no, he doesn't. Excellent. The third example, do they copy their homework? If I'm going to answer with yes, I will say yes. Where is my subject? Yes, they do. Excellent. I cannot say Yes, they don't. Of course. If I'm going to answer with no, I will say no, they don't. Okay? Clear? And now it's your turn to answer this exercise. Now write the affirmative or negative form of the verbs in brackets. Number one, Dave not live in Madrid. So here I have not. Not means put it in the negative form, right? So in our negative form, we put don't or doesn't. Here, let's ask Dave. Do you like S, Dave? Of course I like S, yes. So Dave is a boy, so he likes S. I will put don't or doesn't. Excellent. Dave doesn't live in Madrid. Number two. Sue study German at school. Sue is a girl, right? And of course she likes S. So here I have a problem. I have a Y after a consonant. So I must cross my Y and put I E S. Excellent. So it will be Sue studies German at school. Number three. My dad drive a red car. Here my dad likes s excellent so i will put s to my verb my dad drives a red car we not walk to school and not mean negative excellent in our negative form we put don't or doesn't here we do you like s we yes which one do you like don't or doesn't of course don't excellent so i will put we don't walk to school Number five, the 34 bus not stop here. Not means excellent, negative. And negative, we put don't or doesn't. The 34 bus is one bus. So it's it. And it likes doesn't. Excellent. So the 34 bus doesn't stop here. Number six, Mr. Brown teach math. So Mr. Brown likes s but here i have a problem hmm, my verb ends with c h and c h we put s or e s excellent e s so it will be mr brown teach math that children play football here i have many children not one child so children hey s okay because if i cross children i will put they. So, can I put S to play? Of course not. I will leave it as it is. It will be empty. Number eight, Mary wash the dishes after lunch. Okay, it's a repeated action. Every time she washes the dishes. So, here I have C 
CH at the end of my verb. So can I put S? No, I have to put ES to be Mary washes the dishes after lunch. Thank you, boys and girls. See you next time.